Okay, so now we've entered our new patient details and we want to start scanning. So we're going to talk about optimizing the B-mode image first. So the very first thing to do is you see in the top right of the screen, we'll have our various um, factory presets. In this case, we're going to be scanning a kidney. So at the top right here, we're just going to select the kidney exam and we're going to have a look at it. It's uh, optimized obviously for uh, scanning a kidney. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at the image optimization preset. So in the top left hand corner we have the gain so we can increase or decrease the gain uh, to get the right brightness for us. If we need to we can change the TGC sliders at the top as well. Moving along we look at the touchscreen. Um, at the touchscreen here we can adjust the frequency if we need to to improve the clarity of the image and we can move the focus position so it's in line with the area of interest. We can also change the number of focus arrows there are, so we can increase the uh, width of the focal zone if we want to as well. Moving across, we do have other image optimization parameters, so we've got speckle reduction, V-Fusion is a, um, it's a fusion software from Vino. And we can change the gray map if we feel like we need to. If we want to do a, um, a split screen, we can change the display format here and we can toggle between the two screens using the key at the bottom of the image. And then to get back to normal imaging, we can just use the B button on the left bottom side of the screen. Sliding across one more, we have even more image parameters. So we can increase the line density. We can change the edge enhancement if we want to um, you know, make the edges stand out a little bit more. We can change the acoustic power or the smoothness of the image. Um, so there's a lot of different things in here that you can change to um, optimize the image to your own liking. If you do go too far and you don't like the image that um, you've created, you can easily just go back to the factory presets. Alternatively, if you really do like uh, the image that you've created, you can slide this little arrow across to the right. You can select the probe and app menu and then you can go and save if you want to either save that to the new kidney preset or you can create as many user presets as you like. So we would just rename this one as kidney2 for example. And then we'll just hit save and save and exit. If you ever need to, you can also, in the Probe and App menu, set something as a default or reset to the factory settings. So if we hit reset here, we can reset all of the factory um, applications and settings.